morning. Welcome back to my channel, Our Wandering Footprints. Uh, so I haven't been around for the last six or seven days because last Wednesday, a transformer blew on our street and it blew out my internet modem. So I haven't been able to upload videos um, or anything like that. So even hardly even be on the internet, period. My phone gets a little bit, but not enough to do videos. And it actually blew out our microwave and our TV uh, sound bar, and we thought we lost uh, refrigerator and freezer, <clears throat> excuse me, and coffee pot, but those are okay, and so I had to order a new internet modem from uh, HughesNet, which is our satellite provider, and so it came yesterday, and I got it hooked up, and now I'm ready to go, so today's video, I'm going to do uh, dehydrating uh, celery, because I have a big pack of celery that I need to use before it goes bad, so... That's the video today, and I hope you stay with me and come along. Okay, so I'm ready to start chopping my uh, celery. I'm trying to cut off any bad parts that, you know, are any good. Um, I've already washed them and dried them as much as I can, and I'm going to just start cutting them and getting them in the, on the dehydrator racks. I love dehydrated celery. I mean, it lasts for quite a while. And you can throw it in uh, soups, stews, whatever you um, can think to put it in. And basically, you could actually just go buy a bunch of it, and if you have a dehydrator, and just start, you know, adding it to your dehydrated pantry, which I love to have. I'm just kind of cutting it. A little bit smaller pieces. Well, that's a little too small. But these, these, this celery had some leaves on it, and uh, but my chickens are going to get those. So, I guess I should stay in the camera where you can see. And these will, once they're de they completely dehydrate, they will be a lot smaller. So I guess you don't want to cut them too small. And just. And fill up the trays. I'm not sure how many I'm going to get. Probably not nine because I only had one pack of celery. Okay. So we'll see. My dehydrator is a um, Excalibur, and so it has nine trays in it. And um, we'll see how many I get. Okay, I'm going to finish chopping all this up, and I will bring you back when I'm ready to put them in the dehydrator. Okay, I'm at my uh, Excalibur dehydrator. I have uh, four trays of the celery chopped up. I put it on 125 degrees, and I'm on, I put 12 hours for the timer, so we'll see if that's... I'll keep checking it, you know, periodically, but uh, I think it's going to be good. It smells good, so I will bring you back with the finished results. Okay, welcome back. Um, here's my dehydrated celery. It took about 15 hours for it to completely dry, and then I let it cool in this bowl before I want to jar it up. But it turned out great. I mean, you don't get very much because uh, it does shrink up quite a bit, but it is very flavorful. And when you dehydrate it, it should be hard. See how that flipped, broke apart? It should be really crispy to be totally dry. And it's great to throw in your uh, soups and stews and casseroles, anything where it's going to be, you know, have some moisture to rehydrate it. Um, but I love, I love dehydrated celery, and so I hope you give it a try. I'm going to put it in a small jar and uh, put it in my pantry. I'm probably going to seal the jar. I'm not going to do it on the video, but you've seen me do that before. I'm going to try to get this in here. I don't want to touch it too much because there are oils in your fingertips, which is not good. Okay, there we go. And we'll see. Yeah, it pretty much made enough to for you know a small batch. Um, next time I go to the store, like Sam's Club is normally where I shop for produce, and I will get uh, some more packs to just keep adding to it. But there you have it, dehydrated celery. So I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and uh, get ready for some more videos coming up. See you later. Bye.